Okay, now pulling off our Schrader valves. We've got the system off for right now. When we want to charge it, we need to turn the system on. What we're going to do is take our caps off and listen for any leaks. So we'll listen really carefully for any leaks there as we take the caps off. And also you can look around for any oily residue, any signs of a leak. You can see some signs of moisture down here on the bottom, but I don't think that's necessarily a leak. Here's our low side. One thing I should tell you, this is our high side, sorry. One thing I should tell you is if you're pulling this off and you feel a lot of pressure behind it, you may want to stop there on the high side. Because sometimes uh, you could have a bad trader valve, you have a bad leak there. Anyway, this one's fine and I don't hear any leaking or anything. Low side here. Same thing, listening for any leak in there. Just want to make sure we have our PO. And we actually hear the leak right there. That's where our leak's at on the low side. Hear it there? It's pretty minor, but it's there all right. So let's see if we can tighten down that Schrader valve. Let's get a good view here. I grab my tool from my bag. A Schrader core tool. Just have a couple tools here. Here's one for replacing the whole Schrader core. And here's one just for tightening the Schrader core. So let's try to tighten it first. See if that works. This little piece slips over. Core. Not too sure if that got it. Oh yeah, that did it, that sealed it off. That's good. So there was our leak there. And that's where we had the little signs of moisture there. So we repaired that. Now we're ready to charge the system up. Now, the worst thing for an AC system is to get air in the line.